Greetings world. We are anonymous. It has come to the attention of the collective. That there is a new faction of humans reporting corruption on all levels. We, as anonymous, love the idea of humans fighting for what is right. Project Veritas, has truly gained our utmost attention and respect of course. Their mission statement is, to investigate and expose corruption, dishonesty, self-dealing, waste, fraud, and other misconduct in both public, and private institutions, in order to achieve a more ethical, and transparent society. Their core values are, moral courage. Courage, is the virtue that sustains all others. They choose to overcome their fears. They are all leaders, turning people into leaders. Completed staff work. Ownership. Collaboration. Best not to work in silos. No one individual is as smart as all of us together. Resilience. Persistence and determination alone, are omnipotent. Never, ever, ever, give up. We do not let mistakes or setbacks, discourage us. Pursue perfection, knowing full well you will never attain it. Mission driven, the best people are motivated by purpose. We are passionate, and truly believe in our cause. We must be externally focused, not internally focused. Make the status quo, do the impossible. We move mountains. Failure, is not an option. We do whatever it takes. The tip of the spear. We are a loss leader. We do not shy away from conflict or litigation. Their ethical values are as follows. Rule number one. Truth is paramount. Our reporting is fact based with clear and irrefutable video and audio content. Truth is paramount. We never deceive our audience. We do not distort the facts or the context. We do not selectively edit. Rule number two. We do not break the law. We maintain one party consent when recording someone is inherently moral and ethical. We never record when there is zero party consent. In areas where we are required to have consent from all parties, we seek legal guidance regarding the expectation of privacy's impact on our right to record. Rule number three. We adhere to the First Amendment rights of others. During our investigations we do not disrupt the peace. We do not infringe on the First Amendment rights of others. Rule number four. The Zekman test. The undercover investigations we pursue are judged by us to be of vital public interest and profound importance. The Zekman test is our baseline. Undercover investigative reporting is necessary because, there's no other way to get the story, whereas the Society of Professional Journalists allows for undercover techniques. If undercover techniques are necessary to expose issues of vital public importance, we believe they are not only allowed, but required. Rule number 5. We protect the innocent when possible. Embarrassing private details are not to be investigated. We stay away from irrelevant embarrassingly intimate details about private citizens' personal lives. We look for individual wrongdoing and judge its public importance. The irrelevant religious or sexual dispositions of our targets are not to be investigated. Rule number 6. Transparency. Our methods and tactics must be reasonable and defensible. We use the 12 jurors on our shoulder rule. The work has to be done with such a degree of integrity that it can withstand scrutiny in both law and ethics. We are comfortable with transparency. We must be willing to be ready to disclose our methods upon publication. Rule number 7. Verifying and corroborate stories. Evaluate impact on third parties and newsworthiness of statements alone. We consistently consider the probable truth or falsity of statements, examine any reasons to doubt the veracity of underlying assertions and whether the assertions are newsworthy. 
when possible. We will confirm with our subjects that their statements captured on video are accurate and truthful. At the very least, we will give our subjects an opportunity to elaborate, and, or, respond. In all matters, we rely on the First Amendment to protect our ability to publish newsworthy items after our internal deliberations. On whether there is an obligation to ensure the veracity of statements made on video, for one. Consider whether the remarks may potentially impact an innocent third party. Factors in support of releasing the content and two. The newsworthiness of the statement alone by itself. Factors against releasing the content. Rule number eight. Raw video. In certain circumstances we may release the raw video to the press, and, or, the public. But as a rule, we, do not. Rule number nine. Subject anonymity. We investigate and question sources before promising anonymity. Once we confirm, we will do everything in our power to protect the identity of our confidential sources. Rule number 10. Being accountable. Admit mistakes and correct them promptly. Rule number 11. We do not manufacture content. We do not put words in our investigative subjects' mouths. We do not lead the horse to water. Our purpose is to elicit truth. Rule number 12. With great power comes great responsibility. Operation. Project Veritas. Is now. Fully engaged. Hello folks, I'm Congressman Paul Gosar from Arizona. I'm sure by now many of you have seen the shocking Project Veritas video exposing the medical staff at the Phoenix Indian Medical Center, admitting that they do not report side effects, injuries and illnesses caused by the COVID vaccine. Federal law requires all hospitals and healthcare providers to report adverse vaccine events to the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System, also known as VAERS. The system does two things. One, the FDA and CDC can monitor the potential risk to the public health by seeing firsthand these problems. If a vaccine causes too many injuries, the vaccine can be pulled off the market. This has happened before. Secondly, it allows an injured patient and their family the ability to file a claim for compensation with a federal compensation fund. This is a legal right and it is time sensitive like all legal claims. After seeing this miscarriage of justice and the medical negligence documented by Project Veritas, I immediately wrote to the Secretary of Health and Human Services to investigate this matter and to remedy the problem immediately. Look, I'm not pro-vaccine, I'm not anti-vaccine. I am pro-patient choice and informed consent. And I am pro-truth and transparency. The American public is not protected by healthcare providers deliberately lying or withholding evidence they don't like. Thank you Project Veritas for your work. America thanks you as well.